Back in the year 2003, cell phone technology was nowhere near as strong as it is today. Back in 2003, I was carrying a Nokia brick phone that wouldn't shatter if you dropped it from a 30-story building. There were some people that had flip phones as well. Some had color screens, some had monochrome, some had some very rudimentary games, others didn't. And if you were looking up anything on the internet back then, the wide area protocol or WAP technology that we used really didn't allow for the kind of web-based searching and web browsing that we have on cell phones today, which are basically just like carrying a computer, if not better. So back in 2003, when I'm walking around in video game stores, there was no way that I was going to be able to look up a particular game's reviews or impressions or anything on my phone. I had to either go off of video game magazines in the store, or I had to look at the game case, or I had to try and remember word of mouth that I had heard from friends about a particular game. Enter this week's game. We are going to be taking a look at and opening up Chaos Legion which was published by Capcom for the PlayStation 2 back in 2003. Now, Chaos Legion, there is a pull quote on the back of this case that really sold me. I didn't really look this up in video game magazines, and I really hadn't heard too much about this game from people I knew. So I took a flyer on this based on the pull quote. But before I get there, take a look at this box art. I love that character design. It's very, very cool. And then we look on the back... Savage by Nature is what we've got here on the back of the case, and we've got some screenshots showing all the different carnage, and see that pull quote right there? If you love The Devil May Cry, you'll love Chaos Legion. That's the quote that sold me on this game, and unfortunately, it really didn't resonate with me for many years. When I bought this game originally, I played it for a couple of hours, and I thought, "Mm, okay, and then I stopped, and it sat in my collection, and I eventually sold it. So it took until the mid-2000-teens before I realized that this game is actually underrated and can be a lot of fun. It's not a masterpiece, but it's certainly not as bad as I had seen some talk about it and as my initial impressions had painted. So when we look at the back of the case, Savage by Nature is what it says. It says, play as young knight Sieg Warheit, who must face off against an old friend in this gothic action-adventure. To fight, summon and command seven different warrior legions, each with their own signature weapons. Chaos Legion and graphic masterpiece in savage gothic opera played out through intense and challenging levels of real-time... Uh... (laughs) Real-time cutthroat action. Because you can't barely make out the words there. It's tough to read against the gray background. So, uh, this is a one-player only game, it's not two players, so that's right up my alley, I'm not really much of a multiplayer guy, so it's single player, it's fairly linear, this is a game that should have been a home run, and again, if you love Devil May Cry, according to PSM Magazine, you'll love Chaos Legion, how can I not buy this game, especially when it's on sale? So let's go ahead and open this up. Before I do want to show you that we do have a game that has the ID sticker at the top, Chaos Legion Capcom 1 Disc. This also has the, and it's tough to see, but I can hold it there, the little pull tab, which is kind of neat because if you wanted to display it, I like it hanging on a peg, you could certainly do that with this particular pull tab. But all of this is coming off right now as we're going to go ahead and open this up. This has been sitting in my collection for a little while. I've been meaning to open this up for some time, and then other games had come in, and, well, whatever. So, when we open this up, and I can just slide this right off. Er, there we go. Uh, you know, I, I thought this game would be a bigger hit with me than it was. Uh, when I played Devil May Cry originally, I thought that that game was really cool. Now, I was not great at it. I think I played it on easy where I had the combos pretty much automated and the puzzles as they always did in Capcom games like that kind of irritated me. But nevertheless, the nonstop action in the game was enough to really keep me interested. I did play through it all the way, although I did have some strategy guide help back then. So when we open up this game, and again, I got to be careful because we don't want the disc to fall out. Oh, it's in good shape here. So when we open it up, we have the Chaos Legion disc, and we have the instruction manual. So let's see. There is the disc right there, and the instruction manual is right here. We'll take a look at the instruction manual in just a second. The instruction manual is pretty meaty, actually. I don't remember whether this is color, though. We'll take a look together. It is in black and white, unfortunately. And I believe that it's, um, yeah, multiple languages. We have French and Spanish here as well as English. So the English... 
uh, manual only goes for about 12 pages. It is in black and white. There aren't a lot of screenshots, but the game does pretty much explain how to play it and give you some background. So your mission, according to the game here, is to take on the role of Hero Sieg Warheit, who uses Soul, all in capital letters, to summon legions. Sieg wields a sword and can command summon legions to attack. Each stage consists of several scenes. You proceed from stage to stage by totally destroying enemies and defeating special enemies. So again, it's pretty straightforward, which is the kind of game that I usually like. So I'm not too sure. I can't remember back in 2003 why it was that this game just kind of turned me off. Maybe it just it wasn't outstanding. It was just a game. And back then, I was playing through so many different games, and I was reviewing games at the same time, too, uh, that I just I didn't have time for it. It didn't make enough of an impression with me at that time. Legions are a variety of summoned beasts. You increase legions by getting crests at each stage. Legions assist attack or force attack depending on the mode. Once equipped with a legion, you can activate the enchantment attack or special action of that legion. On the intermission screen between stages, you can use experience points gained in a stage to increase the level of legions you are equipped with. Your skills and summon legions increase as you re raise the region level of the, raise the legion level. Oh, say that three times fast. You can equip a maximum of two types of legions, and you can switch legions during intermission between stages. So it's kind of unnecessarily complex. If it's just a hack and slash game, having the legion system, maybe this is one of the reasons I didn't like it. I thought having the legion system might have been just a little too complicated. Give me a sword, give me a gun, let me go and just hack people up or hack enemies up and make my way through the stages, all in a decent gothic setting that, to me, reminded me sort of kind of Castlevania, but not really. Uh, and that's one of the reasons that, that one of the things that really attracted me to the game. Um, let's see if there's anything else notable in the manual here. Not really. I, I mean, the, the manual really doesn't go into a lot of detail, but back in 2003, we were already starting to move away from instruction manuals, and games are more about showing than telling, so you had a tutorial where, where a first stage would kind of walk you through the basic actions of the game, and once you had a handle on it, the game would progressively get more difficult as you played. Uh, what I find interesting about Chaos Legion, however, is that when I started playing the game again, when I started building my PS2 library back in the mid 2000s and teens, something clicked in the game that didn't click with me originally. And I think back in 2003, being, you know, I was just 31 years old, um, and life was pretty strange back then, and my tastes were even more fickle. Uh, right now, I kind of have a rule that if a game doesn't click with me, Within the first hour, I tend to just give up on it and move to something else. But back then, I think my gaming attention deficit disorder, which is not a real thing, by the way. It's just what I like to call it because I can never pay attention to one game for long uh, unless it really, really, really drags me in, such as like Maneater for the Xbox One and PS4 is a game that really dragged me in, and I played that for hours. Uh, but Chaos Legion just didn't do it right away. I think I got to a section of a game where I kind of wandered around aimlessly and the exit or the path to progression wasn't necessarily obvious and I didn't feel all that invested, so I stopped. But as I got older and as I go back and I replay these games and I give them second chances, I see a lot of things that are more interesting now, maybe because I'm spending more time with it or maybe just because uh, I I'm giving the games a, a serious chance rather than balancing it with so many other things going on in life. Back in 2003, I was, you know, I was still married in 2003, so I had that going on. I was running karaoke shows. I was a DJ at a theme restaurant. So I was all over the place and always busy. And video games, while I wanted them to be important, I didn't necessarily necessarily have all the time in the world to play them and as such if a game really didn't hook me I was pretty serious about just moving on and that was my big mistake because this game if you give it a chance and you're willing to just put the time in and and invest a little bit I think that you can enjoy this especially as the pull quote says if you like Devil May Cry and you like that hack and slash style of action then this game might be for you the thing about this game to remember however is that the value on it has increased of late especially the sealed copy the sealed copy was $35 for a sealed copy of this game um, which is kind of unique for a game that really didn't sell all that well and didn't make a lot of waves when it was new uh, but nonetheless if you find a loose copy or even a complete in box copy for less than $20 I say go ahead and snag it you could certainly do worse for that amount of money and I think you'd have a lot of hack and slash action on the side as well 
So that's it for this week's episode of Unsealed. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it's a little unusual playing a game that I hadn't or talking about a game that I don't have a lot of experience with and I'm going more from memory. Um, But we'll do this again next week. And until the next time, my friends, take care of yourselves and each other and we will see you later.